Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. So let's jump into your quick energy check-in reading and see what the universe wants you to know. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and click that notification bell so that when I upload readings, you guys will be notified. All right. So let's see what is going on, Aquarius, because you want nothing to do with someone right now and it's driving them crazy. We have the high priestess and the devil. So you have two major arcanas here, Pisces, Capricorn energy, and the king of wands. And when I tell you this king of wands kept appearing in your reading and they kept rotating and rotating and every time I would shuffle, the king of wands would show up again. And I'm like, okay. So now this king of wands is coming out again with the devil and the high priestess. I feel like someone is becoming secretly obsessed with you simply because you shut down on them. Or maybe you guys both are mad at each other, but I feel like someone may be ready to make up with you, an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, or a Capricorn, or a Pisces, but you may not have too much to say to this person. So let's see, what messages do you have for Aquarius? Yeah, you're not stuck anymore. The hangman is in reverse. Pisces energy here, page of pentacles, Oh, that's what's going on, Aquarius. You're working. So you don't have time for this person right now. Someone's coming in with an offer, though, with the Page of Pentacles. It could be a younger Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or this person is just wanting to reach out to you, but they may not have much to offer you. So you may keep your back turned to this person. And if you do talk to them or text them, I don't feel like you're going to have much to say. So this is someone who did something to you. Yeah, you're not sure if you even want this person. So we do have the lovers here, though. Gemini energy. You, look at these major arcanas that you have coming out, Aquarius. Are you just letting the universe handle something? I'm hearing some of y'all saying, like, listen, I'm done. I'm over it. What will be will be. Or I'm, I'm sort of hearing whatever it is what it is. Like, if this person comes back in, fine. If they don't, fine. You're fine either way. Because... You're not focused on them anymore. You're not focused on this relationship anymore. It's not that you... I don't feel like it's that you don't want it because the lovers are showing up here. So some of you could also be dealing with a Gemini or a Twin Flame. I do feel like um, if you're dealing with an, a Fire Sign, Aries, Zero, Sagittarius, that is a Twin Flame for you. We'll see. But um, I feel like what this person don't know... Is that you're just not in the mood to deal with their bullshit anymore. So this person is not, yeah, they're not coming with a plan. If they're not coming in the right way, the Ace of Wands is reversed. So I feel like they don't have a plan to fix the situation. And you don't have a plan right now either because it's like you're not focused on it. I feel like you care about this person, but not enough to, um... Not enough to let this person frustrate you anymore. I feel like some of you are no longer letting someone get on your nerves or get, you know, you're no longer letting this person get to you. The five of swords. Yeah, somebody is, they they play to win. This person plays horrible. It's like they always have to get what they want. And if they don't get what they want, they may turn their back on you just to remain in control. What messages do you have for Aquarius? The Knight of Pentacles. See, this person took too long coming in. That's the problem. So I feel like now with the World card, you may be thinking about giving up on it or you have given up on the situation, but there is change because the Wheel of Fortune is here with the Tower. So whatever this Three of Swords energy is about here in this Tower, the change is here with the Wheel of Fortune. Some of you may be dealing with a fixed sign, a Leo, another Aquarius, a Scorpio, or a Taurus. Or the universe is saying, it's just time for change. I feel like some of you are, like you never expected to feel this way. Um, but I'm hearing the time is now to make these changes. So while you're in this energy of not really paying this person any attention, or um, in the energy of not letting this bother you anymore, Aquarius, the universe is saying, 
this is where the change comes in. This is the change that you've always wanted. You want this person to do right. You want them to come in um, and be more emotionally available for you. Well, I'm hearing stick with whatever this is. Trust the plan. For some reason, though, I don't think you guys have a plan. I don't think you did this on purpose. It's just you're tired. What messages do you have for Aquarius? Yep, the Four of Swords. You're tired. Well, here's a new beginning. These are the same cards I saw in your pre-shuffle. Uh, the Five of Cups and the Two of Cups. So someone may come towards you and tell you that they love you. This is either them having regret about doing something to you or not being able to fix this situation because of all the things that they've done and you're just like over it with the four of swords or you're tired of thinking about how to make this right. And I feel like some of you are looking at the situation like I'm not the one that's doing something wrong here. So why should I be trying to fix this? but I see a new beginning. So you're either going to have a new beginning with this person and you guys are going to try to get on the same page and fix things. Even if you're not broken up with them, you can still be with this person and you guys are just not, things are not good right now between the two of you. But there's a new beginning coming in with the Ace of Cups. So it's either with someone new or it's with this person. What messages do you have for Aquarius? Oh, give me one second. That card just flipped on the floor. Oh, someone feels like they owe you an apology. The Knight of Cups is the card that flipped on the floor here. Could be a uh, water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For someone, this person, it seems like they're embarrassed or they're ashamed. The horse's head is down here. I'm wondering um, why this person is coming back in though because knights are either going into battle or coming out of battle so i'm wondering if this person is coming back apologizing because something didn't work out for them this is not going to be everyone's story though but i feel like for some of you it will be your story you may have waited around for this person to reach out to you and it, it took their time now the queen of swords you're not going to be um you're not going to be receiving this person with open arms though with this queen of swords because you're showing up in your own reading with the eight of swords questioning should i stay or should i leave you feel trapped in some sort of way it could be just mentally trapped here because the eight of swords is showing up so you're not physically trapped like you know the swords are not preventing you from walking away from this but some of you are asking yourself, are you ready to walk away? Even if you're not talking to this person, you're just retreating and taking some time out because you did have the four swords here. But I feel like you constantly think about this situation like, should I just leave them alone? Because you feel like it's not worth it anymore to keep going back and forth with them if they're not changing. And so I feel like this is where you are now. To, oh, okay. The star card, the seven of cups. You have options, or you will have options. We have the five of wands and the king of pentacles. There could be um, an earth sign, a Virgo Taurus, or a Capricorn telling someone that you left them out in the cold with the five of pentacles. They may be talking to someone about you because there are several people here. The five of wands. This King of Pentacles, it, it doesn't have to be the King of Pentacles for everyone, so it could be any sign, but a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn could possibly, they could be, they could possibly be telling someone that you left them out in the cold, or um, a lot of people know what's going on between the two of you. There could be a lot of people in your business with this Five of Wands and this Five of Pentacles. I just see people surrounding this King of Pentacles. So this could be friends or family members that know about you and this person's relationship and they know what's going on. Messages do you have for 
Aquarius, the King of Swords, and the Nine of Cups Reverse. Yeah, you're not happy. So you're like, if I'm not happy, then nobody's going to be happy. You're not having it. So I don't know if you're going to, this. if they try to come in and apologize to you, you may not accept it right now, or you may give this person a hard time. Even if you want to accept their apology, with the Nine of Cups reversed. The Seven of Pentacles. Somebody feels like you don't want to work on things anymore or you're no longer putting in effort. But I saw that in the beginning with the Eight of Pentacles because you, yeah, you're tired of the false starts. You're guarded towards this person. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at these cards, Aquarius. Yeah, the Six of Swords. Moving away from the situation or thinking about it, feeling like you need to. We have the Nine of Wands. It's like some of you are ready for this person. You're like, if they approach me, I'm going to give them a piece of my mind. So if you're um, suppressing your feelings right now, if this person reaches out to you, it's not going to be good for them. We have the Ten of Wands. So you could have other things going on in your life. And you may just feel like this person is not very helpful, but they always want to come around when they want. But when you need them, they're not there. We have the Three of Cups reversed. So you're not really wanting to, to be with them right now. I feel like you still love them because the lovers did come out in the upright. But you're sick of the false starts here. Could be with an Aries. And you're just like, I'm going to push them away like they pushed me away. We have the moon and the six of cups. Some of you don't see this person wanting to reconcile with you. You don't see them coming in. We also have the page of cups. So I feel like this is all happening after someone betrayed you. The ten of swords. Some of you may check your phone a lot to see if this person has texted you or this is your person checking their phone. Yeah, you may feel like this person's sneaky. We have Pisces energy and Libra energy here. Or things that they've done to you is just not forgivable in your eyes right now at this point. You may forgive this person. I don't know. There's something about this connection where I don't feel like it's over. But I feel like the main situation here is that they're non-committal. They won't commit to this. So you're like, okay, if you're not going to commit to it, then stop texting me. Stop calling me. Like, Stop trying to get my attention. What do you want? Why are you bothering me type of energy I feel like you have here? Because you feel like this person's done you wrong. They may have done a lot of things to you too. Where you're tired of forgiving them. Or you're tired of just letting things slide. Yeah, I feel like some of you, you're like, you don't care if this person tries to reconcile with you with the Six of Cups. You're tired of just letting things slide. And you know, with the moon, you know they have something going on. But whenever you ask them, this is someone who's not honest, Aquarius. Let's see, let's get one more. All right. So again, we have everything is fine, but you're not really, you're not really fine. Ten of swords and everything is fine card. Same energy. So you're not giving this person any attention. You're not saying anything to them. And you're not okay. But you, you don't care. You're like, it doesn't even matter if I'm not okay. I'm still going to stay guarded. So even if this person coming back towards you would make you feel better, I feel like it, in a way it's not going to make you feel better even if you hear from them or if they text you or call you because you're like, I know you're hiding something. I know you've been lying to me. And like, what, what do you expect? Do you expect me to just reconcile with you and forget everything I know or everything that I feel? Yeah. So those are the messages that I have for your quick energy check and reading Aquarius. Thank you for watching my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.